So I'm sure a lot of you are wondering why I'm starting a channel for being conservative and gay. A lot of it has to do with the fact that so many people voted, I think, liberal or as I say, lefty Lucy. Yeah, that's another story. A lot of people think that I am so lefty Lucy because I am gay. I am um, from Connecticut, which happens to be an extremely lefty Lucy state. And that I just feel this overwhelming spirit that I need to share why I'm a uh, conservative and a member of the LGBTQ plus community. One of the number one reasons that I feel inspired to share my story over this series that I'll be doing is that so many people voted because they wanted to fit in. So many people voted that were brought up conservative or have conservative beliefs or conservative feelings, and they vote in the election because they want to fit in for something that they're not. They vote Lefty Lucy. And I'm not condemning anybody that votes a different way than we do because my whole message is about sharing love, is about sharing inspiration, is about loving and accepting all of us, no matter your race, religion, sexual orientation, background, gender. It's about loving and accepting all. So I don't want you to feel that I'm bashing you. I would love for you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And the reason why I'm picking YouTube as my platform for this is I have almost 14,000 followers on Instagram and I'm sure 50% of them lean right and 50% of them lean left. Or maybe a few lean in the middle, who knows, holler. And so I feel that by taking this platform to YouTube, it will give you the option so that I don't need to be pushing my beliefs or agenda um, for my Instagram followers. I have a lot of people on Instagram that follow me that are, that are non-members of the church, and they're following because they want to find out more about the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I don't want them to think that we are politically motivated to, you know, um, get you baptized and to get you to join the church to vote a certain way. So I want to dispel any myths there are about being um, a conservative like myself and gay and a full temple recommend holder within the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and share my political views as we come up to the election that's going to be happening in a few years. And I, I just really want to have a safe place that all of us can discuss this as human beings, as individuals, and as children of God, where we can share our thoughts and our views. And I'm thinking about asking a friend of mine, uh, Jill, to actually come up with some content for this discussion or forum on YouTube uh, titled, you know, conservative and gay and a member of the church. And I want you to know that if you have any viewpoints or thoughts, please post them in the comments. And the biggest gift you can give somebody is hit subscribe and hit that little bell on YouTube so that you can get notified when a new video is uploaded and share this playlist with your friends and your family and post it on your social media. You can click copy link, you can share it on Twitter, uh, you can share it on uh, Facebook, as I refer to it, holler. <laughs> um, or anywhere you feel inspired to share this, or you can even text it to friends and family because all of your support is greatly appreciated. As most of you know, it requires you to have um, a thousand followers in order to go live on, on this platform. And I would strive for that where I can just pop on at a moment's notice and share with you my thoughts of breaking news when it comes to politics and and hear a gay man's point of view of what's going on with current affairs when it comes to politics. I'm gonna start by saying one of the things that I am 
one of the number one reasons why I'm conservative, and I have been since I first started to vote back in my first election. It was uh, President Bush was was trying to get reelected, and it was um, President um, Bill, um, uh, I can't even say his last name. <laughs> oh, heavens. Um, uh, Clinton, <coughs> excuse me. Um, and I wanted to vote for family values. I don't believe in abortion. I don't believe in um, taking someone's life. And I've always leaned conservative. And I stand strong in that. But I've never gone public with this. And this is kind of like, how many times do I have to come out of the closet? Holler! It's, I, I really feel that it's... It's um, it's important, but I'll tell you a funny story. So back when I voted in the, the early 90s for uh, President Bush um, Sr., is I ended up um, accidentally, I think, because we had those curtains and you had those levers you had to go up and down, and I'm dyslexic, and I was getting so frustrated, and there was a huge line behind me. And when you pull the lever is when you cast your vote. So I pulled my lever and I went, oh, shucks. I think I voted for Clinton. Dang it. <laughs> and everyone was like looking at me because I was in Connecticut. And they were like, oh. <laughs> it was silence. <laughs> and I think shock because I really, but in Connecticut, my vote doesn't count. Everything is blue. I don't, I, I don't recall there being a, presidential race that had been won in Connecticut. But with that being said, you know, I miss the old days of when it was people like, you know, we had, um, you know, uh, President Reagan. I mean, I grew up with President Reagan and I just, I, I fell in love with him. I fell in love with Nancy Reagan. I fell in love with their, their values. I fell in love with watching them on the news. I'll never forget I was mortified. I came home from school and my mom had the, the, the tube on and that's what we called it. It was a big tube. And when he was shot and I just felt like, oh my gosh, what just happened? And I didn't even know about politics at the time. I was so young, but I knew he was our president and I knew we need to support him. So throughout this journey, I'm going to be sharing many videos about why I'm conservative, why I'm gay, or let me rephrase that, why I'm gay and conservative, and why I choose to exercise my right as an American to vote the way I want to. And I would like to share with you, if you're struggling as to what side or what party to vote for, please tune into this channel because we're gonna have a lot of information to share. Don't quite know what that is yet, but I trust in the Holy Ghost and I trust in the Spirit and I know I will be guided as I pray and fast. Love you guys.